Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel today. Today we're back with another instalment of the FIFA 20 Road to Glory series. Now, um, let me just close this door because it's going to keep creaking. Uh, I've had a few requests over the last couple of days for some videos. Some people want to know how about uh, what players to invest in for Thursday flips. Others want to see, again, another breakdown of the bronze pack method. So I'll get both those videos out to you. Um, but... The one thing, you know, that I, I keep, you know, that's always bugging me about this game is, you know, this is kind of just proof of what sells after bronze pack method. So, last night I opened 52 bronze packs, okay? 52 bronze packs, that totals to a total spend of 20,080 coins. We then have all this stuff that has sold, and we haven't even relisted today. This is the first time I've jumped on the game today so let's just see let's relist the stuff that we need to relist let's put the phone on silent because it shouldn't know it only ever goes off when i'm about to record but anyway let's just total some of this up so we've got two uh, 200 there so that's uh 2900 uh 3600 3800 what's that 4500 uh 4700 uh, 5,100, we'll just say that's 500, so 5,600, uh, 6,300, or 7,200, then we have this guy that's 8,000, 8,200, 8,400, 8,600, 8,800, We'll just say that's 200 for the sake of 200 coins. So 9,000. Uh, we got 9,300. 9,900. Uh, 9,900. That's now 10,200. 10,600. Oh, this is this is testing my knowledge, right? But you can see the kind of point I'm getting. I've nearly broken even of the amount I've spent just from selling the stuff that I've got in the packs. That's without selling the players that I packed that are actually any good. And so if we just look at our advanced uh, our advanced features here, that's without selling guys like all these Chinese Super League guys, all of these uh, guys here. If I was to open 50 bronze packs a day, I can guarantee you'd make about 10,000 coins a day. But just bronze pack method alone, I don't feel is a great trading method. But again, I'm going to do an in-depth version of me going through the bronze pack method again for either just bronze pack method or aiding league SBC method. Because bronze pack method is purely just to make coins. Opening bronze packs to aid the, the process of... Um, the the league SBC method is essentially better, but the title of today's video uh, we're going to be looking at two things. I've made massive progress on the league SBCs, guys. Um, again, I had my board here with all the the league SBCs that I wanted to do, as you can see there. The majority of those have been done. There are a couple that I haven't done. The only reason for that being is that they are super super expensive. So if we head over to league SBCs. We'll see our progress here. So, uh, first of all, this is the, the SPC that came up with Fup Birthday yesterday. Fup Birthday, the full team is out over the weekend, which EA didn't tell us, but we have some packs prepared, ready to see if we can get anyone from that. And there's also some new um, objectives as well, but we'll get onto that in a minute. So, we got this new Costas Manalas here, five star weak foot, two star skill moves, low high, six foot two. Um, agility and balance aren't that great, but you could boost those. His pace is already great, so you don't need any additional boost really on pace. Maybe put an engine on him uh, because of his defensive stats are all very good anyway. You've got yourself a decent centre-back down. I believe that's going to set you back about 215,000 coins, which is okay. Uh, I'd say that's pretty good value for money. Let's take a look at our SBCs though. So, we got Bundesliga, which is pretty much completed. We've only got to do Dusseldorf. Bayern Munich, which is an easy, you know, we just need six Bayern players. And then we just got to go through Paderborn, and we got to go through Union Berlin. SC Paderborn, I don't know how close we are again to doing Paderborn. I think we're quite close. I think we are quite close to doing it. Uh, if we go League SBCs and then Paderborn, 
I wouldn't say we're too far off from doing this. We have a left back who could easily play there. And a goalkeeper who could play there. All we need is another central player. Their right mid. And then just the cheapest Paderborn player. And we're sorted for that. We're sorted. Actually, no. We'd need another off chem player. So we'd need another... Either a centre-back to go in CDM. But we have both their strikers. Which is massive. We have this guy and this guy. Who are massive, massive. That's like... A huge chunk of coins off that. If we compare this guy's price, this guy's up at like 16k, 15k. And then this guy is up at like 17, 15k as well. So that's 30k worth of player uh, saved just from doing bronze pack methods and getting these, rinsing the, the, the bronze, the, rinsing the bronze upgrades is I think the most important thing. Um, to save yourself coins on silvers. Because when you're doing the League SBC method, guys, one thing you have to sort of appreciate is although, say, I'm spending 3,000 coins on the League SBC and I don't get those 3,000 coins back, I'm putting 3,000 coins worth of players, hopefully, touch wood, in the club again, which is what we want to do. But then we've got Union Berlin here, and again, I think we're quite close to completing Union Berlin. I'm not going to go ahead and complete them yet, because A, I'm probably going to wait until the next promo to do so. But again, look, we are very, very close. We can put the left mid in there. We can place a goalkeeper in here. Convert this guy, you know, if we have a cam to centre forward, which I doubt we do, but you never know. Uh, if we go to positioning. We do have two cams in the forward, so he get the cam. We just need the right back and the strike on those. So again, we're awfully, awfully close to completing Bundesliga. Um, the Chinese Super League, we're, we're literally only two teams away, which, you know, I'm not in any ru uh, hurry to do, um, so that's fine. We've got the league gun a little bit further away, just because there's a few teams that, again, I haven't really checked. Sunday is normally my checking day, so again, I will complete all of those SBCs later on today and then just go through it again. The MLS, again, we're only 10 teams away, but again, it's not really a priority league for me. The same with the Liga Nos. The Liga Nos has a lot of silver teams though, so it's hard to get some of those. Serie A, we're very, very close to doing. Uh, we've actually done the most expensive, Brescia. Uh, Lecce is near completion. We then just got to do Piemonte Calcio and then Sassuolo. Sassuolo are very, very expensive because their midfield is super expensive. Uh, we're... we're I'd say about halfway through the Saudi League. Uh, Super League, we do have another team to complete, but I'll leave that. Uh, the Premiership is done, guys. So we've got Shakiri from the Premiership. The Premiership, all done. I didn't have to buy in extravagantly. I didn't have to spend a s stupid amount of coins on any teams. So I just completed it because Sheffield and Norwich were both done. I had them both done. Uh, championship is getting close. Eredivisie is nearly halfway. Feyenoord is going to be one for me, which is going to be super hard to do because it's very expensive. And then we just have Barcelona, Real Madrid and Mallorca to do from this. And again, as soon as another promo comes out or as soon as these all these clubs are ready to go again, then I will look at doing, I'll look at completing that. And these two I don't really do much with, honestly. I kind of just leave them there. Um, I completed one of them whether or not I'll continue to do them or not. I don't know But we're gonna go through these packs and I'll show you all the packs we have So we got a couple of gold players packs a small gold players pack a rare gold pack a couple of megas A couple of electrums a small prime electrum and a couple of mixed players packs here We're gonna do the 283 plus players and then literally I'm just gonna go through the others if I get anything I will show you we're guaranteed at least a board from this It's a walkout which is good French walkout as well Centre forward, from that it's Benzema. Now, I think we already have a Benzema in the club, and I think he might be untradeable. We got 86 Coutinho from that as well. That's a really good pack, but if they are... Oh, thank the Lord he's not untradeable. Great, that's music to my ears. I'll list this guy for about 27,000 coins. That's 27,000 coins gained already. That's at least... You know, that's nearly a hundred bronze packs done. That's already just from that right just from that sale of Benzema, I've already funded my my bronze packs for tonight. Which is fantastic, fantastic. But anyway guys, these are the packs I've got. 
I'll show you if we get anything good. More than likely we won't, but hey, who knows? With the power of the God, the EA gods on our side, maybe they'll give us something good. All oh, guys, we've got boards or a walkout. Is that an inform walkout? I think it might be. Argentinian. Centre mid. Oh, we get the pool. Hey, it's not bad. It's not a bad pull. Hey, get that? It's not a bad pull. But hey, he looks like a decent card, but we already have his red version, I believe. So, you know, if there's an SBC that drops and I want to do it, I can definitely throw him in there. But hey, that's not a bad pull. He's he's selling for about 16,000 coins. So again, just from opening these packs, we made 36,000 coins back. Even more than that, actually. Well, we had 27 from the other guy. So over 40,000 coins. That's 100 bronze packs I've aided. Easily. So I've easily covered the cost of doing the SBCs I've done. Easily, easily. And we got some great cards back, like this Moreno guy. I mean, he's not very expensive, but he's good in terms of SBC sort of things. We get a Joe Gomez here, who will easily sell for maybe 1,300. And then a discardy. Although, some of these German Bundesliga second tier type, uh, cards do sell because of marking matchups. Border wall cut from a mega pack. It's a board. It's Serbian. Cam R. Oh, Dusan. It's always Dusan. It's always mother trucking Dusan. Oh, at least you haven't got him in the club right now, but still, it's all. Oh, why is it always Dusan? I don't need any more of him. I've had must have packed this guy at least 50 times this year. Honestly, he's so, so annoying. That's a chance for I never knew happened. One Yama now at Montreal Independent? He's not a Spurs lad anymore? Honestly, I never knew that transfer went down. Border walk up from a rare mixed players pack. It's a board. Oh, Christ. Greek. Centre back from Arsenal. Socrates. Oh, Gertz there in there as well. Oh, a Nimes Olympique player. Huge. Massive, massive. Orlando City. Yeah, some decent players in here. Not going to lie. And a Socrates who's selling for at least 10,000 coins. And again, I'm going to take all those coins. Because at least at the moment of all the SBCs about. Especially, what? Oh, because it's put it as 9750. There we go. At least of all these SBCs that are about right now, A, I'm not going to do them. There's another party bag, but again, it's so ridiculously expensive. And I'll show you some of the SBCs that I won't be doing because they're too expensive. Um, or for me, they're just not worth the value in pack value. But at least when they bring them out, A, I'm not doing them, but at least they're making fodder more expensive so when you get an 83 rated player it's not oh i've only got a thousand coins it's okay i might have two or three thousand coins though if you get an 84 it's like per socrates it's a big 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 pull um but again with that one yeah not much in this one either unfortunately but hey we get a couple of players to sell and here's just some of the stuff that we have got then guys look at this have to clear some of the transfer pile space but a lot of these coins these are some of these cards are very, very good value for money, or good coin value, which, uh, you know, gives us a great, just a great source of coins, really. Really, really happy with some of this. Boards of walkout, come on. Ah, oh, another board, but hey, it could be something good. Uruguayan. Centre back. Hey, centre back Uruguayans are great. Any centre back I'm packing right now, I mean, Jimenez. He's good. I don't think we have him in the club already, so we can store him. I know we do have him. Even better. That is fantastic. Because if we're going to look at his price... Da, 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 da. So even right now, we're selling all these packs. Which is why I only open when promos are about. Because fodder is up. We're making some great, great coins. Which is just fantastic. 
Just getting 84s and 85s right now is all I need in my life. Just give me, give me all the fodder, because I will sell all the fodder. My club is extremely stacked because I haven't done any of the crappy SBCs that EA have been offering because they're crap and I just don't need them. But that's the last one, nothing in that. But we don't get any fuck birthday, but what we do get is three or four good fodder players. We do get some great league SBC players as well. Let's not forget that. We've added a shit ton of core value into club as well as pack value. I'm very, very happy with that. Very, very happy. We'll list up all the remaining cards here. Uh, we've got Gaston Ramirez, who will sell for maybe 550 coins. Uh, we get Jaira, who... Uh, well, no, he's not selling. And this guy from the Belgian League, for whatever reason, is selling a shit ton. So, hey, guess what? I'm going to try and sell him for 2k. If I can get the 2k back from him, well, hey-ho, it's very, very nice 2,000 coins. But there we go. We've nearly made 100k just from those 15 packs. That's, of course, we're packing some fairly decent players. Um, but the only other thing I'm going to talk about now, guys, just to round up the video. A, we're not going to do any Fat Champs gameplay here because I really can't be asked to do it. But what I'm going to talk about is, you know, how much longer I'm going to have the effort to play this game. Because right now, the only, fun, the only time I enjoy playing the game is Fat Champs or Draft. If it wasn't for Icon Swaps, I would not be playing Division Rivals. Division Rivals is has got to a stage where it's just too too sweaty and you know you'd have thought that fuck champs be sweaty in division rivals isn't but it's because there's so many objectives people are trying to do that's the reason why fuck champs just becomes or division rivals becomes so so hard to compete in and the the, the main issue with fifa right now is you look at my record i'm coming towards you know nearly playing 2000 games on this game now, it comes to a stage with FIFA where in order to keep FIFA, you know, somewhat competitive, we're going to need to see that the it's worth actually playing the game and not just trading. Now, the problem is that this game, the, as I said, the thing that needs to be improved is you need to be able to get something back from playing the game rather than just packs. Because right now, playing the game just is not worthwhile. Because... Or when there's nothing in packs, even though you don't get anything in packs anyway. But me sitting here, if I was to come on this game for three to four hours a night and just bang out div division rivals, and yeah, I might get to rank one in division rivals, division whatever I mean, I think I'm in division four. It's just not worth me doing it. Why not? Because I'm going to get packs and I'm going to get absolutely nothing from them. If I spent those three or four hours a night trading, doing bronze pack method, buying silvers, bidding, I'd be in a lot better position than I would actually playing the game, which is the fundamental issue with this game, what is wrong. You should be able to get the best value from the game. You should, maybe not the, as well as trading, but you need to be able to get some progression and value from the game from just playing it. At the moment, there is no incentive to playing the game properly. There's no incentive to go high and fuck champs because all of our squads are at a level where Team of the Week or Red Picks are not going to help unless there's a massive Red Pick in there again. A meta player. Most of them, you know, meta players are on this pick, on this screen. And another thing which is, you know, just ridiculous is that the reason why or the reason, you know, several years ago, last year on FIFA 17, 8, when did, uh, I think it was FIFA 18, I started investing and stuff. I used to invest for Player of the Months. Because they used to be worth the coin value. Right now, Player of the Months are not worth the coin value. This uh, prem Premiership Player of the Month was not worth the coin value. And I don't know what they're going to do with Premiership Player of the Months or Player of the Months. Because they're just going to go extinct. There'll be none on there. Which you'll see right now. There is barely any on here. So we got Sancho, who is still available for a little bit. Uh, he's still available for five days. Again, I just don't really think he, he was worth the coin value. You'll see what we needed to put in, which is an 85 and 86. Rate. Okay, so Sancho isn't as ridiculous. We then have this FUT19 SBC, which gets us an 84 rated rare player for FIFA 19. However, it's a brick slot 
so that means you're pretty much going to need now what? An 82 to 83 rated team? That's a whole squad of 82 to 83 rated. You're looking at at least 30k. Am I going to get a 30k player out of this? Most likely is. No, I'm not. Fuck 20. You see an 86 rated rare player. Untradeable plus. Which requires an 83 rated team. But is brick slotted from what it is to Zoko. So that means you're going to need an 84 to 85 rated team. And a team of the week. To get literally just a fodder 86 rated player? Absolutely shit. A fuck party bag, which is now any fuck birthday, any shapeshifter, and any winter refresh. But it's a fucking 86 rated team with a team of the week or team of the week moments in there. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. This game is going downhill fast, and they need to fix it for FIFA 20. Otherwise, people will get. The only thing keeping me on this game is getting. Um. To get kill, uh, to get kill, uh, King Kenny. But this is what we're left with, then, guys. So we have a jumbo rare players pack. My guessing is they put this here because they know that Fat Birthday is going to be in packs for another seventy-two hours. However, they know that this is when uh, Fat Champions is going along. Why did we not get this type of SBC a week ago, or when the promotion started? Why did they give it to us two days before? They give it to us two days before the promotion is about to end and during when we're on foot jumps. They know people are going to be playing foot jumps, but the idea is they want more and more and more people just getting so toxic against this game. The more and more you give people to play matches, the more and more toxic people are going to get. Dropback has made a lot of toxicity in this game. Uh, free, -throwing, free flowing football is literally not a thing. It's literally all sat back and just passing the ball around and it's shit. We then get this fuck rare players pack, which gets us a 50 play, a 50k pack for getting eight arrive winning eight rivals matches, winning eight squad battles matches, and scoring 30 goals in a squad uh, squad battles match. These are here until the end of the season. So if we get a promotion, you know, maybe at the end of the promote or you know what, in two weeks' time. Are we going to get another promotion in two weeks? Or is it then just going to be the lead up to team of the season? I don't know. Uh, I then just got to play two more games of uh, any fuck game mode. And I'll get another a lone icon moment. I've got to get another win with the La Liga team. I've then got to play five win five matches using 11 UCL theme players. And then I've still got to do the squad battles guys. I haven't done any of the squad battles. I still need to do... Another 16, what, 19 games of squad battles. Which is going to infuriate the fuck out of me, but still. And then we got our week gold, uh, week 4 gold, and then our week 5 bronze. So we shouldn't have an issue getting to level 30. But I just think it is so, so boring FIFA right now. But anyways, that's where we're going to end this one then, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like on it. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, turn notifications on. 